Well, something I haven't talked too much about in a little while is Grand Theft Auto 6. We had all the leaks come out for the game and the person got arrested. They ended up in a mental hospital over the situation of it. But now it seems take two this week, uh, surprisingly and not surprisingly at the same time, is laying off about 5% of their staff. What does this mean for Grand Theft Auto 6? Is there something more nefarious behind the scenes? Now, I got up here an article from Bounding in the Comics, but I got a few different things to show here. So do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I cannot suggest you subscribe hard enough. Turn around, take that mouse over that button, and just click it. That's all you need to do is click that button, and that will give you great satisfaction. Anyway, Grand Theft Auto publisher Take-Two announces brutal cost reduction plan, plan, cuts over 500 employees and cancels several projects in development. This is um, something that's that only came out on the 16th of April. I, I, I didn't actually catch too much of this. In a particular brutal entry into the ongoing wave of Western video game industry related layoffs, Grand Theft Auto and Borderlands publisher Take-Two has announced that in seeking to balance their budgets, they have decided not only to slash its workforce numbers, but also cancel several unannounced projects. Rather than issuing a public statement on the matter, the publisher, whose portfolio of offerings include NBA 2K, Top Spin 2K, WWE 2K, Borderlands, and Red Dead Redemption series, as well as in a, a personal mention, a, the surprisingly fun Marvel Midnight Suns title. Instead, Stealth revealed their upcoming cost reduction measures via official filing made with the United States Security and Exchange Commission on April 16th. That's not good news at all for Grand Theft Auto fans, for where this game might be headed, especially in the debacle that we are seeing right now known as Sweet Baby Inc. A site I haven't visited in a few days. You can obviously Rocksteady is also part of the Sweet Baby Inc. mantra of companies they deal with. You know, many different companies on here. You got Wizards of the Coast, you got Ubisoft. This is the list now of things that you gotta be very rare, very wary of when it comes to games that are going to be coming out. Now, this isn't necessarily going to affect Grand Theft Auto 6, but there is the worries of them. For Fandom Wire, after the mess of Sweet Baby Inc. caused for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, GTA 6 fans are concerned that Rockstar may utilize the consulting firm. So this is a very, it's kind of in the background right now. Is Sweet Baby Inc. actually going to be pulling some strings, some strings with Grand Theft Auto 6? This is back from March 13th. Uh, not the sweetest baby, according to fans. After the historic failure of, uh, of the new Rocksteady Games title, Suicide Squad Kill This Justice League, fans pointed out that it's was all the fault of the studio involvement of Sweet Baby Inc., the consultant for the narrative subjects. Fans of Grand Theft Auto 6 are now worried over Rockstar Games using the particularly controversial narrative development firm to put the finishing touches on the story mode of one of the most anticipated games of the decades. And that's been where the narrative design comes in. They come in for the finishing touches. They come in for the changes that happen to these games. Is Grand Theft Auto 6 going to be woke? Well, we're going to have to wait to see. The main protagonist in there being a woman, uh, I, I believe a Latino woman, which honestly, there's no issue with it, but how is it becoming the, that? Is it is it going to be more about woman power? Is it going to be racist rhetoric? Is it going to be something that where journalists clamor and tell us we're going to be racist and, and sexist if we don't play the game? This is something that I have dealt with, I have seen on many different occasions with many different games right now, especially some of the titles that I've covered here in news articles. Overall, I just get, go play the game. 
And no, that's not necessarily what's going to happen here. I know there is a lot of uh, worry on how the Grand Theft Auto online scene is going to come out with the uh, with the microtransactions that are probably going to be heavy in this title. But you got to wonder if some of the quest line, some of the narrative design is going to get touched by Sweet Baby Inc. This is uh, one of the major worries that I think a lot of people are having right now. As always, some ranting in the gaming community has no justification whatsoever. Some, but some gamers are getting after the weird reason to justify something. A very tiny group of gamers blames the failure of Suicide Squad killed as Justice League on the involvement of Sweet Baby Inc. in narrative consulting for the game. Well, you got to wonder, you, you really got to wonder if uh, they came out of the gate and said that they were going to do what they did to Batman right out of the gate. Um, so I, I don't know. Is that someone trying to shoehorn something in there? Uh, it really did feel like it. The game is a buggy mess. It, I, I couldn't even watch the game for much longer than I did. It's, it's not good. This is far from true. The game uh, has other reasons regarding its poor performance and sales, but fans are connecting this to GTA 6 in the most unusual way. There's a small percentage of gamers that relate woke to something negative, and there's always more noise over the internet. Well, yes and no. Things that I've seen with a lot of uh, these games that go this route like what we're seeing right now with Warhammer where it's getting shoehorned in that women were part of uh part of the one faction that they never were part of uh just because they say oh it could be anyone underneath that helmet you never know what you're dealing with and that's just one of the one of the things where it gets shoehorned is GTA 6 going to be this woke nightmare? I suspect they're going to be going that direction because they did go back and uh, censor some stuff from GTA 5, taking out certain jokes and certain things in order to, uh, to tone down the narrative. And of course, there was pressure on Rockstar from the LGBTQ developers on it, saying that they removed transphobic content from GTA 5 in the remasters. So... You, you, you gotta wonder, they are heading down that path. All the marks are there, and I wouldn't be surprised if we hear that Sweet Baby Inc. got involved to be the sensitivity readers for the new Grand Theft Auto 6, just so they don't offend the certain groups out there on the market. Anyway, I've been your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to come back and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, everyone, have a great day.